NetScore Point of Sale for NetSuite provides retailers, distributors, and general business companies with a full-featured POS cloud-based solution built on the NetSuite platform. The application supports in-store operations and mobile use, such as trade shows, showrooms, mobile sales teams, and delivery drivers. A real-time integration gives full access to inventories, customer records, transaction history, and the full reporting capabilities of your NetSuite system. Items can be quickly entered via scanning or single-touch ordering on a terminal. Promotional codes, discounts, and gift certificates can all be applied at checkout. Loyalty reward points can be redeemed as part of payment. Multiple payment methods include cash, credit cards, and debit cards, with the ability to accept multiple payment methods for a single transaction. Cash drawer management capabilities are included in the application. Returns, refunds, and store credits can all be managed via the application. With full support for the iOS and Android operating platforms, users are given a wide variety of devices to choose from for running the solution, including retail terminals, touchscreen monitors, tablets, and other mobile devices. NetScore POS integrates with other popular NetScore applications such as subscription billing, service and maintenance, rental management, CPQ, and loyalty rewards. Integration to other solutions are available as well. In this section, you will learn about how to create sales orders in NetScore POS. Users need to log in to the NetScore POS at the beginning. Here, enter the credentials like email, location, register, shift, and password. Then click the login. You will be redirected to starting day cash. After entering the denominations, you can start the shift. Here, you can see that the shift has been started. If you want to add a new customer to the system, you need to click on the plus symbol. You can select here the type as individual or company as per the requirement. Here, fill in the details to create the new entry to the system. If you need to search for an existing customer, you can search from here. Here, you can see the customer details like customer information, reward points, and recent order details. When it comes to the product, you can search the items in the search bar. Then click on the bag icon. Then it will be directly added under the cart section. You can also search the item by barcode scanner. The item will be added to the cart. Here you can see the category and subcategories like outdoor, perfumes, and sports. You can click on the required product and you can check its description, stock availability, and location. Then you can add the item to your cart. You can see here that it has been added. If you want to make any changes in the price level, you can click on the dollar symbol. Here you can make the change as per your requirements, like flat price and percentage. Then click on Update. The price will be updated. Once you have selected all your items, you need to click on Checkout. You will be redirected to the Checkout page. Here you can check the Ship To details. If the customer wants to change the ship to address, we can do that here. Shipping method. Customer can select the desired mode. Layaway order. The customer makes an advance payment in layaway orders. Request for ship date. As per the customer's availability, we can schedule the shipping. Change sales rep. The person who is logged in will be the default sales rep. If they want to change the sales rep for this order, they can change it through this section. Cart section. The items which has been added to the cart, that item information will be reflected here. Apply promo code. If the customer has a promo code, they can enter it here. Apply gift certificate. If the customer wants to enter a gift certificate, they can enter the details here and apply. Apply reward points. If the customer has rewards points, they can redeem them over here by entering the details and clicking on Apply. If you have any comments, you can mention them in the comment section. Deposits. If the customer wants to make any deposits against this transaction, you can enter it here. You can select the payment modes as per your convenience. 
like cash, card, external payments, check, terms, credit memo, and deposits. Here, I will use the mode of payment as cash. Here, another payment mode will be check, then external payment. Once the payment is done, you can click on Confirm. Here, you can see that the order has been placed successfully. If proof of delivery is needed, you can take the customer's signature here and click on Capture. Then you may enter the email address, then click on Send. If you want to check the order, you can go to Orders and click on Search. This is the order. In this section, you will learn about how to process the return in NetScore POS. Customers can return an item by going to the menu, process a return, enter the order number, and search. You can see the details. If you want to return this product, click on the return icon. Here, we can see the amount location and the reason. If you want to restock the product, you can select it here and you can enter the comments under the comments section. Here, we have the refund payment mode. We can select it as per the requirement. Here, I will select the payment mode as cash and click on the process. You can see the return amount and return number. If the customer needs an email, you can do that. In this section, you will learn about how to process the order fulfillment in NetScore POS. Go to Menu, Fulfillments. Order Fulfillment has the flexibility to change the delivery of the product. Here, select the sales order and then enter the sales order number. Click on Search, View. These are the orders. Now we can select the order which we want to be fulfilled. Then click on Fulfill. The order has been fulfilled. In this section, you will learn about how to process the deposits in NetScore POS. This is the Register Products page. I'm going to select the existing customer. I'm going to add the products to the cart. You can click on the bag icon. The item will be added to the cart. If you click on the item, you can see the item description and stock availability details. Then you can add to the cart. Then you can click on the checkout. Whenever the customer wants to pre-book, they can make the deposit. You can observe here that $359.66 is the order amount. The deposit amount can be configured or varied based on the client. Customers must pay a minimum deposit amount in the deposit. If they pay less, the system will not allow them to make the payment. Now we will enter $200. Now the system will allow us to make the payment and place the order. I will select the payment mode as cash here. Then you can click on confirm. The order has been created. Next, we need to click on new orders, menu, orders. Here you can see all the orders. Enter the order number and click on view. If the customer wants to make the remaining payment, they can do it. Click on pay, then select payment mode as cash then click on Confirm. Your payment will be processed and your order has been confirmed. In this section, you will learn about how to process the account terms payment in NetScore POS. Here, I'm going to show you the terms customer. The customer should be an existing customer. I am selecting the existing customer. I am adding products here. Click on the bag icon. The item will be added to the cart section. Then click on Checkout. Here, you can see the payment mode as Terms. Select it. Under the Terms section, you can see all the eligible terms. Here, I'm going to select Net15 and click on Confirm. You need to take the signature of the customer as proof, then capture it. When the customer returns for payment, you can process the payment by going to the menu, Make Payment, enter the order number, and search. This is the open invoice number. You need to enter the amount as per the invoice. Here, the payment will be made by check. Enter the amount, then check number. Click on Confirm. Here, you can see the payment was processed.
To make the cash drawer activity, you need to click on the menu, Cash Drawer Activity. You will be redirected to the registered history. You can see here Register, Start Time, End Time, and View. You can take a print to check the complete details. With the help of Pay In and Pay Out, the cashier can update the currency in the cash drawer. With the help of Pay In, you can enter the denominations. And if you have any specific comments, you can mention them under the Notes section. Then you can click on Pay In. The currency will be added to the cash drawer. Next, go to Payout tab. With the help of Payout, the cash can be removed from the cash drawer. Under Quick Reason, you can mention the reason. You can enter the comments under Notes section, then click on Payout. The cash will be removed from the cash drawer. At the conclusion of the shift, the drawer will be reconciled. Then the user can end the day. Go to Menu, Start End Day. You will be redirected to the End of the Day page. At the end of the day, the cashier can enter left out cash denominations, for which the cash difference amount will be zero. After entering the denomination, if you have any notes, you can enter them under Notes section. Then you can click on End. Shift will be ended. Thanks for watching this video.